Hey, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing. Alexa, turn on lamps. Thank you. Commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys. Alexa, turn on lamps, cool white. There we go. That's better. Boy, you know, I've been away from here for a while, and now I'm back trying to remember how to do everything. Thank God Alexa is here to help me. Um, just a quick update uh, for everybody. Uh, the Eagles, they still stink. They still stink, and uh, we are enjoying it completely. But the Cowboys, we got some uh, bad news last night when Hankins went out and he was carted off. And when you see the cart pick up a guy, you know that it's not good. It's not good at all. And seeing him, knowing that he's a big guy, when you see them going for the ankles and everything else, you know that it's going to be bad. Hankins has played so good. How good has Hankins played that he has not come really off the field much and allowed Mozzie Smith to get on the field. He has been above and beyond what you would hope for and truly what a veteran presence is. And hopefully he has teached a lot or Mozzie Smith has learned a lot watching him uh, on the field. Now, what we found out, here's here's the deal. Now, there is going to be an MRI to see directly how bad it is, how the severity of it directly is uh, for his ankle. Um, because the Cowboys, you know, you get a nosebleed, they're going to do an MRI. They, 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 I think they have stock in the MRI company and want to make sure that they get his, you know, their quota in of MRI usage. So always everybody gets an MRI. So when you hear that somebody's getting an MRI, you always think the worst. But here's a case where it may not be as bad as it seems because we're hearing um, – Ian Rappaport, and take that as it will, you know, throw some salt over your shoulder and so on. But part of the half ton of fun, at worst case, it's th thought to be a high ankle sprain, the dreaded high ankle sprain, but it's deemed that it looks like it's mild. To give you some hope, I want you to think about Trevor Lawrence, that when we saw him go down and literally throw his helmet onto the ground, you thought for sure that that was going to be really, really bad. But he did come back and play. Mind you, not real well, but he did come back and play. So the thoughts are that this is a high ankle sprain, but a mild one, and that he would definitely be back uh, by playoffs, if not sooner. So that is some knock on wood, some good news on the uh, injury Excuse me, I, we're not saying injury. The medical malfunction, Greg Evans. Greg, I did not. I didn't say that the I word. I'm sorry, I did, but I took it back. But it's the medical malfunction. Uh, beyond that, we know that. Um, Micah Parsons has the flu. Hopefully, he passed it on to the Eagles. You know, I'm not wishing bad on the Eagles. Just a little bit of flu bug. You know, because I know that definitely. Definitely, Micah Parsons made all of Eagles Nation feel sick. I know that they were feeling sick, but uh, we're having fun today. Um, we're going to enjoy today, but tomorrow it's back to work. Um, they've done great things, beating the Eagles and stuff, uh, getting to be, you know, the number two seed at the moment in the NFL. But. That means nothing if you go out and you lose to Buffalo next week. So they have to get focused. And when I checked yesterday, and let me check real quick again here while we're here, um, the weather forecast, long range, long range, um, the preliminary one, and of course, it's it's a long ways out. Okay, it's still uh, six days to go. Currently in Buffalo, it is 36 degrees and windy. Okay, that's right now. It's 36 degrees with 15 mile an hour winds. But here's what's crazy. Tomorrow, they're expecting 40. Wednesday, 33. But come Thursday, there's a warming trend. 41 and 31. 44 and 39 on Friday, 41 and 37 on Saturday, and Sunday, mind you, the long range forecast is 48 and 38. You know, sometimes you get lucky, you get real lucky. And maybe this is a chance that the Cowboys literally get a little bit of luck on their side 
And um, maybe, just maybe, we end up having a great game in Buffalo. Buffalo, which has been up and down, but Buffalo, that is another team that's desperate, fighting for their playoff lives. Um, maybe we get that win right there. Then we've got the Lions at home, uh, which will be the Jimmy Johnson uh, induction into the Ring of Honor. And then we go play the Lions on the road. And then the left hand up, the Commanders, at the Toxic Waste Up. Now, um, I'm going to have more on uh, tailgating. We're going to definitely tailgate at a FedEx. I think... Um, the thing is, is they've got new ownership there and things have changed a little bit. So you're not supposed to be hanging out in the parking lot, so to speak. So what we may do is we're going to still have all the food, but we may pare down some of the stuff that we're taking because we're going to need to be able to put everything inside vehicles and lock it up, and so, so to speak. So I'll be working on that. I'll be here for several days now getting things together for the tailgate. Um, I've had a bunch of you guys that have been emailing me at Mark 94 g email um continue to do so um i'll be looking at getting tickets in the red zone lot for that and um figuring out i know pamela savage is one that's been talking uh as well as some other fans that have been to ones before we will get this together and have ourselves a good time hopefully uh, are you gonna go to that game you're not gonna go on the 30th yeah yeah that's what I said. Of course that's at home. Did I say on the road? I'm sorry. We play the Lions at home. We play Buffalo and Miami on the road. I Forgive me. Which is an important game. All the games from here on out are important. Well, Eagles have to win out. And especially the New York Giants two games against the Eagles. Those are truly important. And that's where we need your help, Brother Rashid. Um I'm just wondering how it is in Eagle Land today. Uh, Eagle fans are going off. I literally saw trash cans that they had painted Bradbury and Slay on, and it was a Eagles former player, great, that actually posted this. So it's getting ugly. Boy, and so, oh, yeah, the, Cowboy, the, the first, Cowboys made him look like the, ass. The first half of the game, every time he was in there, we were just running amok. Uh, <laughs> This is true. And, uh, Philly, I hope you're having a great day, buddy. Disrespected yet? Does this defense have any heart? Let's no. Go. They suck. I've been telling you all season, they Philly. They've shit on you. Oh. They've shit on you. <laughs> Don't you hear me, Jordan Davis, <laughs> Jalen Carter? It's like, they shit on you. Oh. They've shit on you. <laughs> they have shit on you. Don't. Don't you hear me, Jordan Davis, <laughs> Jalen Carter? It's like, they shit on you. Kill them. Oh, my goodness. Did he say they, they cock it on them? I hate the style of defense. I 